Hi friends, I am Dr. B.B. Rao of Usha Clinic and founder of the website RaghavaMedicalDoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medical. Today I am going to discuss about the cranial nerves and the injuries. Cranial nerves are the nerves arising from the brain and supplying the face, head, neck and sensory organs except vagus nerve and uh, some other. These may be mainly sensory, motor or some may be both. The first among them is the olfactory nerve. Olfactory nerve is a sensory nerve receiving sensation of smell from the nose. The fracture of the cribriform plate results in a hyposmia, partial loss of smell, or anosmia, complete loss of sensation of corresponding sight. Olfactory filaments may rupture as a result of a anterior displacement of a displacement of following blows on the back of the head. Optic nerve. As the name suggests, it is a sensory nerve responsible for the vision. The fracture involving the optic foramen may damage the nerve. The contusion against the margin of the foramen also can damage the nerve. The tumors or aneurysm also may be involved in damage. Primary optic atrophy with a partial or complete uh, blindness results in the affected eye. The optic nerve is the outgrowth of the brain. So gliomas arise in its substance, particularly in young children. Oculomotor nerve. It is a, it is a motor in its function. It is usually affected by tumors, trauma, aneurysm in the skull, sphenoid fissure, or orbit. Pressure on the nerve above the tentorium occurs. In the early stages of a midbrain pressure, pressure cone formation causing a dilated pupils. Partial lesion may produce a dilated pupils only. In complete lesion, we may find a ptosis of the upper eyelid due to the paralysis of the levator palpebrae superiorly. Proptosis due to the paralysis of the majority of the ocular muscle, which normally exercises traction on the eyeball. If there is a intraorbital tumor is also present, this will be increased. Metriosis due to unopposed sympathetic fibers and also causes dilatation of the pupil. Loss of accommodation owing to the owing to paralysis of the ciliary muscle. Diplopia and external strabismus with a downward uh, in inclination of the eyeball due to the unopposed action of external rectus and superior oblique muscle muscle owing to their uh, proximity proximity other nerves passing to the orbit or often affected. Trochlear nerve. This is this nerve supplies the superior oblique muscle. It is a motor in function. It rarely involves alone. Diplopia and uh, deficient movement of the eye in downward and outward direction may be noticed. Trigeminal nerve. It is uh, divided into three branches to supply different parts of the face. It is mixed in function. Trigeminal neuralgia. Tic dolores occurs mostly in female. The cause is unknown but uh, may be related to in infection of the nerve by virus of herpes simplex. Pain starts in the second or third division and slowly extends to the adjacent divisions but the ophthalmic division usually escapes. The pain is brief, intermittent and uh, 
extremely severe. It is described as red hot needles searing the flesh. The pain is uh, precipitated by stimuli like uh, brushing, washing, speaking, eating or drinking hot or cold substances. The patient may indicate uh, trigger zones on stimulation of which produces pain. Pain occurs in the bouts of severe several weeks duration with a long remission. The period of remission gradually becomes a shorter and then to nil. Other causes may be lesions of dental, nas uh, nasal, ocular or from involvement of uh, the trigeminal pathways in uh, disseminated sclerosis, eighth nerve tumors or uh, aneurysm but in such cases the pain is uh, continuous and occurs in uh, association with the physical signs of uh, causative lesion. Treatment. Tegretol is useful in some patients. Analgesics may be useful in others. If a uh, resistant injection or surgery may be needed. Alcohol injection. The needle is inserted 1 cm below the zygomatic ge notch and passed upward, backwards and inward to make contact uh, with the third division at a depth of 5 cm. The needle is then advanced into the nerve causing uh, severe pain a drop of uh, local anesthetic is uh, immediately injected. Before the alcohol is injected, the syringe is uh, aspirated to make sure that the, that uh, no cerebral cerebrospinal fluid escapes. When the needle is well into the nerve, a resistance is uh, offered to injection of uh, anesthetic. The anesthesia produced indicated indicates the position of the needle, which is now advanced into the ganglion and uh, further anesthetic injected until the requisite area of the face becomes numb. Now 5 ml of absolute alcohol is uh, injected. Relief may last for 6 months to 2 years. It may recur after that and uh, requires injection again but may be difficult phenol injection. Injection of 7.5% uh, phen uh, phenol in uh, myodial injection into the ganglia under X-ray control will produce a relief of pain without loss of sensation. Surgery. Division of sensory roots. It is uh, comfortably done in a sitting position. This, uh, this reduces the pressure in the venous sinuses minimizes bleeding and uh, facilitates exposure since any blood collects in the floor of the skull and is usually sucked away without obstruction to uh, obstructing the view. The temporal muscle is exposed by a curved hook incision and uh, divided. An opening is uh, made at the base of the skull in order to minimize the elevation of the dura. The dura matter is uh, separated from the floor of the middle fossa until the middle meningeal artery is seen emerging from the foramen spinosum. A blunt hook is inserted into the foramen. The artery is coagulated with the diathermy and then divided with the cutting current. The mandibular nerve is then identified as it passes back from the foramen bovel to the cave of uh, Meckel. The dural sheet is now stripped, stripped up by blunt dissection with the point of the sucker, opening uh, Meckel's cave to expose first the ganglion and then the secondary root, which lies on sheets of uh, Arachnoid 
for the backward on the apex of the petrous bone. A retractor is inserted into the Meckel's cave. The sensory root is exposed and the sheet around it is opened. Cerebrospinal fluid escape, escaped is removed by suction. The sensory root is then identified by its loose texture and uh, parallel fibers. The root is now divided on a blunt hook, uh, avoiding the motor root, which lies deep to the sensory fibers and uh, crosses behind them. Fractional division of the lower end Outer two-thirds of the root uh, preserves uh, sensation in the first division. The fibers of which lie in the upper and inner and third of the root. Other effects are uh, neuropathic keratitis treated by Jovist intramedullary tra tractotum. Abdicin's nerve. It is uh, slender and has a long intracranial course. It may be uh, affected by the fracture of the base of the skull or displacement of the intracranial sutures. It may be involved in association with other oculomotor nerve bilation. In the uh, cavernous sinus, sphenoid sphere or uh, orbit. The external rectus muscle is uh, paralyzed and uh, internal strabismus results. Facial nerve. It is motor in function and is uh, involved by a variety of causes. Intracranial lesions with, within the brain or uh, supranuclear, nuclear and uh, infranuclear. Supranuclear lesions involve only the lower half of the face as, uh, as the occipital frontalis and uh, orbicularis palpebrum enjoy the bilateral innervation. Nuclear lesions, the whole, the whole face and the sixth nerve in the same side are affected and also the opposite arm and uh, leg as the motor uh, decussation takes place at the lower level. Infranuclear lesion occasionally results from the pressure of a tumor cerebellopontine angle in which case involvement of auditory nerve is also evident. Cranium the in Introsious uh, portion of the facial nerve may be affected by fracture of the base of the middle ear disease. Following a fracture, paralysis may appear immediately as a result of direct injury to the nerve or with, uh, within hours or, or days. From hemorrhage within the nerve sheath, here recovery is possible. Facial paralysis is a complication of uh, my middle ear disease and uh, may follow injury at operation on the mastoid antrum. Compression with, within aqueduct of uh, poly, polybius occasionally follows uh, chronic inflammation. Extracranial. The facial nerve, is, uh, nerve or its uh, branches may be involved by bell palsy which is uh, due to herpetic uh, neuritis and follows exposure to cold or drought. Swelling within a sheath of the nerve extends into the stylomastoid foramen and the nerve is uh, compressed within the bony canal. Other causes are uh, tetanus and uh, malignant tumors. The paralyzed face is flat, expressionless, I can't be closed. Corneal ulcer may be secondary to exposure. Treatment. Conservative treatment. It is possible in the antivirals like uh, acyclovir, anti-inflammatory drugs and uh, physiotherapy. Operative 
treatment. A repeated facial tic with a spasmodic uh, contracture of uh, facial muscles may be relieved by fractional division of uh, branches of the facial nerve supplying the affected muscles. These branches being exposed through a curved incision anterior to the lobe of the ear. In case of Bell's palsy, early decompression of the nerve by removal of the part of mastoid process reduces the risk of paralysis. Vestibulo vestibulocochlear nerve may be involved in a fracture of the middle fossa or compression by tumor. Minius disease, it is a proxi proximal disturbance associated with uh, giddiness, deafness and uh, vomiting. If medical measures fail, the vestibular portion of the nerve is exposed and uh, through the posterior fossa and uh, divided as it enters the internal auditory mirror. Glossopharyngeal nerve. The effect, uh, effect of the nerve is uh, characterized by the severe explosion of pain either uh, in the region of tonsils or uh, deeply in the ear. The trigger zone, the tonsillar area and the diagnosis is uh, clinched by fact that uh, coconization of the zone temporarily relieves the pain. In genuine cases, the nerve must be divided, approached through the posterior fossa and uh, severed as it enters jugular foramen or as it uh, crosses the tonsillar fossa after tonsillectomy. Vagus nerve, it is both sensory and motor, it may be damaged in association with the fracture of base of uh, base or crushed by ligature included in the internal jugular vein or a common carotid arch. Injury to the vagus nerve may, be, may cause only tachycardia. Complete involvement results in paralysis of both abductors and adductors and consequent paralysis of the corresponding vagal cord. Increases its uh, mobility so that uh, it uh, reaches uh, reaches across the glottis. Accessory nerve. It is a commonly injured hypoglossal nerve during high cervical dissections, particularly in the removal of uh, tuberculous lymph nodes. The division of the nerve produces complete paralysis of uh, sternomastoid muscle, but uh, may receive. Uh, motor supply by second and third cervical roots. Likewise, in case of other. Hypoglossal nerve. It escapes the fracture of the base of the skull as the anterior condyloid foramen is uh, protected by a bony ridge which diverts a fissure towards the foramen magnum. It may be the, in it may be injured by Submental operations for uh, removal of tuberculous lymph nodes. Hemiatrophy of the tongue occurs. The corresponding side of the tongue uh, being shriveled and wrinkled, and uh, tongue being pushed towards the paralyzed side on protrusion. The all about the injuries to the cranial nerves and in the next video I will discuss about uh, some other this. Thank you.